Hi, I'm David Schloss, photographer, photo educator, and author of several books on digital photography. I'm going to talk today about the new Mamiya DL28, the latest in a long line of high-end medium format cameras from Mamiya, but one with a surprisingly affordable price. The DL28 represents the best combined system that Mamiya and digital backmaker Leaf have ever produced. The complete package is based around the acclaimed Mamiya 645 AFD3, the latest incarnation of the company's award-winning medium format body one that's specifically designed to handle the demands of digital. Together, the system is a 28 megapixel superstar, capable of continually capturing 16-bit images with 12 stops of dynamic range at one frame a second, both tethered or non-tethered for a price that's thousands of dollars less than ever offered before. The full DL28 kit, including the body, back, lens, and accessories, costs under $15,000. The Mamiya DL28 has two benefits over SLR cameras. The first benefit is the resolution. The large 28 megapixel sensor is able to capture incredibly fine detail, enabling images to be printed at massive size without any loss of quality. The second related advantage is the quality of the information coming from that sensor. The high dynamic range and low noise make the images captured with the DL28 cleaner, and they have greater levels of color gradation than those that come from digital SLRs. Now I'm going to show you just how easy it is to go from box to shooting with the Mamiya DL28. I'm going to shoot in untethered mode, so I brought along a compact flash card with me, but I could just as easily be shooting tethered. There's an included firewire cable in the box. So I'm going to open up the camera. I've taken the opportunity to charge up the batteries. Inside the package, we'll find that the DL28 is already set up. The back is connected, the lens is connected, and the system is ready to go. If I were shooting in tethered mode here, the system would draw power from the firewire cable. I wouldn't even need this battery here on the back. I'm going to take the card and I'm going to insert the card into the compact flash slot. I'm going to just turn on the camera in the back, set it to program, take off the lens cap, and now I'm going to shoot. Of course, all good photographers know that creative control is key to good photography. And the Mamiya 645 AFD3 body that's the heart of the system has been redesigned, providing greater access to the most often used controls and providing better ergonomics than ever. The control buttons provide one finger access to metering, shooting mode, and exposure compensation, while the auto exposure lock button is directly reachable during shooting. On the front of the camera, the designers have added a mirror lockup setting above the shutter release, and that's specifically useful for landscape and architectural shooters who often need access to this control. The locking top control dial provides access to all the settings you'd normally find on an SLR. In fact, the compact, easy-to-hold system should be familiar to any 35mm photographer. The new Secor 80mm f2.8D digital lens is a perfect example of the focus on design in the DL28. The oversized ring is great for critical focus in manual mode, and the convenient focus mode dial is easy to use. The back comes off in a flash and can be interchanged with a film back. There are many times when clients or jobs call for the use of film, and the DL28 maintains the investment in film gear. But the greatest power and control comes from the digital back. The large LCD screen and touchscreen panel makes it easy to move through key settings. I can quickly change the camera's ISO. I can change the white balance. I can view the image's histogram with just a few clicks. And I can change the name of images and folders. A built-in fan keeps the unit cool, which is crucial because high temperatures at the sensor is one of the largest causes of image noise. By keeping the temperatures low, the Leaf Aptis 2.6 back keeps the quality high. The camera also is powerful enough to shoot at one frame per second, which is incredibly fast for medium format photography, especially considering that the raw file size is 53 megabytes. First, we're going to take a look at how easy it is to shoot with a model in a studio, thanks to the tether-free shooting ability of the DL28. Because of the fantastic dynamic range of the system, I know that I'm going to get the best possible rendition of colors and see a complete range of tones from skin tone to the color of her clothes. As I'm capturing these images, I'll stop for image review on the back of the LCD screen so I can see if my lights are set up properly and if I've got hair and makeup the way I want it. Now we'll switch to tethered shooting, which gives me the ability to save images directly to the computer. I'm still going to get immediate feedback on the camera back, and at the same time, my assistant can start editing the images using the Leaf Capture software. One of the beauties of the Mamiya system is the wealth of lenses available. Plus, you can work with all of the earlier manual focus Mamiya 645 lenses, and with an adapter, you can use Hasselblad 5 series lenses. Together, it represents a complete range of essential focal lengths and the largest selection of lenses in the medium format world. For the wedding, fashion, and portrait photographer, medium format offers the absolute best image quality, and that's crucial when shooting iconic images that will last a lifetime. 
The high resolution sensor allows for superior enlargements, which is especially important to the fashion photographer, who might find their work on a billboard someday. Product photographers live by the ability to make non-moving items look vibrant and interesting, and by being able to capture every detail of a product and all the subtle color variations. Increasingly, landscape photographers are turning to digital medium format too, because of the dynamic range, but also because of the high resolution sensor, which allows for cropping of images without loss of quality. But these days, most photographers do more than one type of work, and so digital medium format photography helps to maximize the ability to capture the perfect image regardless of the scene or the situation. The high quality, large size digital sensor picks up subtle nuances that digital SLR systems just can't capture. For many, medium format is about choice and flexibility, and the new Mamiya DL28 is the most complete medium format system ever offered. For more information on the Mamiya DL28, visit mamiya.com.